Hi everyone, Dave Willard here for Guitar Muse, and uh, today we're going to be checking out the new pedal from Electro Harmonics called the Super Ego. This is really cool. Um, it's a synth engine pedal. This is just the box, but we're going to actually check out the real thing. Uh, what this pedal basically lets you do is uh, freeze chords and notes and create really interesting soundscapes like um, synthesizer pads and that kind of sort of sound. So. Um, Come right in here. <laughs> We're gonna get a close look at the Super Ego. I have it on my pedal board right now, and um, let's go over the controls really quick. The Super Ego has four knobs up top: um, speed and layer, a gliss knob, one to control the dry signal, and the other knob to control the level of the effect. And uh, the speed layer knob does a couple of different things depending on what mode you're in. We have three different modes here. Um, we're going to start off with auto mode. And what this mode does is automatically detects what notes you're playing and, and you know creates little frozen um, synthesizer sounds uh, based on what you play. And in this mode, the speed layer thing, uh, knob is going to control the decay, uh, attack and release actually, uh, of the sound. So we're going to start off by demonstrating kind of like a pizzicato sound. So we're going to leave the dry sound, uh, the dry signal all the way down and the effect kind of high up. Um. <laughs> there we go. So in this kind of setting it's going to give you a very short pizzicato kind of sound. I'm going to take some stuff off my effects loop here. I'm actually running uh, MXR Phaser 90 and a Boss Super Chorus through the effects loop of the Super Ego, which is a cool little feature that allows you to put effects on the effect alone, so just on the wet signal. Um. So that's that kind of piz pizzicato kind of sound, really staccato. Make sure you make that even shorter, turn the gliss all the way down. Yeah, so check it out. You can do something like... Also in the auto mode, if we take the, the speed knob up and uh, increase some of the decay of our sounds. It puts a little bit of gliss on there. And the gliss was, what that's going to do is going to morph the frozen sounds together like a glissando setting uh, or portamento setting on a synthesizer. So you can hear that bit of bending going on between two notes. Yeah, so this is going to automatically, um, I'm going to put a little dry signal in here. So you can build uh, like playing arpeggios one at a time, you can build these really cool soundscapes. So, actually, if I add a little delay to my effects loop, that sounds even cooler. So that's the auto mode of the Super Ego. Let's go over to what they call momentary. And we're going to kind of leave this stuff here. Um, in this mode, the pedal is only going to, going to be active when you're holding it down. And for this to work, you need to strum your chord or play your note before you press down the, uh, the pedal. And whatever you're playing at that moment is going to freeze in time. And as long as you keep your foot on the pedal, um, you can kind of play over what you just froze. So I'm going to play a D minor chord and try just playing over that. take your foot off the sound stops. So this is a really cool way of um, 
just in the moment, if you decide you want to freeze a chord and play over it, that can work. Right. It's a neat way of also morphing between different chords. So I'm going to turn the dry signal all the way down. We're only going to hear the effect. And um, what I'll do is try to I'll play different chords and then freeze them in time. But you're not actually, actually not going to hear me play the new chord. You're just going to hear the, the, the super ego's effect. And um, with the gliss up, you really start to notice this. So check it out. We're going to go to the latch mode, throw our toggle switch over to the left here, and in this mode the, the pedal will be active uh, all the time, and you can just tap it to freeze your chord, so I want well, my dry signal all the way down. So. And a double tap will stop uh, your frozen sound. So all you do is do a single tap to freeze your sound and a double tap to stop it. This frees you up to do some other things so you can um, freeze whatever you want in the moment and then go play with some other pedals and maybe play over that sound that you just froze. We're going to try that. Turn the effect down a little bit and increase my dry. That's cool. It's kind of crazy. Kind of like synthesizer sounds. You might hear like a, a Pink Floyd concert or something. All right. So there you have it. That was the new Super Ego pedal by Electro Harmonics. Definitely a cool pedal to check out. Get it at your local music store. Uh, I'm Dave Lord. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this demonstration. Also, be sure to visit GuitarMuse.com for more news and uh, reviews like this. See you around.